get going on the stream tonight because I was finishing the water off camera and I got into a groove and then I started doing marshes, then I started doing trees and then before I know it was like, gotta start up the stream. So that's what we're doing. Take a drink of my little hot coffee here, or a hot cocoa. Alright, game on. Let's talk about what we're going to do on today's stream. Britannia and Beyond for Golden Goblin Press. They are kickstarting it in March. My objective is to be done with this one in one to two weeks' time. We have quite a bit to do. Yesterday, we um, worked on borders for the Dirty Barbarian Lands. We worked on hills. We worked on mountains. We did some coloring. We did some texturing. We started doing marshes. And then we started to do our trees. And today, I said that I was going to continue the marsh pattern, the grass pattern, and our trees down into Britannia proper. Oh, we did um, Adrian's Wall. So, so that's, that's kind of what we're going to do. We're just going to come right down the map with grass, texture, and trees. Now, that said, there's a couple of things that I want to do here. And one is actually move this settlement. And here's why. It's gonna pop up right there. Let's get moved over to one side. What I love about the people that interact with me here on Twitch, but Facebook, Instagram, etc., is I get a lot of people that give a shit about these maps. Like they really have an opinion. And I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean like, it, it, they are, especially in the historical sense, but they're always offering feedback in a constructive way. So, I got a message, it wasn't on this particular version, hold on a sec, let me go back on my app. Mr. Valor, welcome sir. Uh, I got some feedback. Come on, Facebook. Why you be so slow? There we go. Maybe this one. Yeah, Dave Roberts. I wanted to find his name because I want to give credit where credit is due. And Dave was telling me that he actually lives in this area. And I used a reference map, okay, for this particular province right here. And he says it's not there. The ruins for this province are A, a fort, and B, up here. And he actually showed me where the ruins are using Google Maps. Call me convinced. So, Dave, thank you, my friend. That's very much appreciated. From what I can tell... From what I can tell... Trying to get a sense for where is um Where is his I'm trying to get I don't want to bring up his message because that's like not cool, you know? But um he posted a picture, and I'm now trying to figure out where his picture is, his map, compared to my map. Well, I guess I'll go to Dennis Dinnell. Dennis, let's find Dennis Dinnell. Dennis Dinnell. Alright, where's Dennis Dinnell? Let's, let's find it together. Alright. This here is my okay. So, Sagontium, the Roman fort, is like here, right here. Where is this on my map?
Okay, so... I don't think I'm, like, I'm that far off. I mean... Apparently, the Roman fort is there. There. Let's zoom in a little bit. There's the Roman fort. No, no, that's a royal town. It's like here. It's right there. Right there, just over the hump and right there. So it's like... What, like here, maybe? Right, if I move it, if I move it there, it's probably about right. But I'm actually going to make it a fort. I'm going to draw a fort. Okay. Let's, let's delete you. And I guess we'll, we'll put him right here. Alright. Thank you, Dave, for pointing that out. That's very much appreciated. And Brian's here. Oh my god, everyone is here. We have Mr. Valor in the house. We have Miss J. Maps. What? Good to see you, my friend. I don't know what. Don't know what that is. Um, Papa Fox. Papa Fox. And Cave hates us all because you steal us away all the time. I hate him because he steals you away from me all of the time. But it's good to see you. And I, I have that effect on people, yes. He's awfully entertaining. He's awfully entertaining. When he does his glitter beard, we're all going to go over there. Do I steal a fort? Or do I draw a fort? I'm going to steal a fort. I'm going to steal a fort. I'm going to edit it. Alright, well, th this this can't be now too far off the mark. And we'll get rid of the road a little bit. I think, Dave, you're going to be happy with that, my friend. Surely. Or do I? Do I? Do I flip it? No. I'm not going to flip it. You know what? We are going to customise this, though, a little bit. Um, I'm going to colour in that door, and we're going to draw a different door. Uh, I want need to merge my layers there, too. I meant to do that before the stream, but time got away from me. Alright, roads. Hey! Princess is here! Everything is complete. I'm going to leave that, actually. I'm going to leave that. I did some loose-ass colouring on this thing. What was I even thinking? Loose-ass colouring. Looks good. Looks good. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing.
Miss J, you type it. I I literally verbalize it. But we're all getting better. Okay, 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 okay. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, let me get my textures and everything here all merged together because I got a lot of stuff going there. There we go. Good, good, good. Then, I know I said I wanted to do grass and trees and stuff, but you know what I remember today? Stonehenge. And I have never been to Stonehenge. So let's go find out where Stonehenge is located and get some pictures of it. Alright, where is Stonehenge located? Stonehenge! Hey, that's machine to say. Go Barbarians! I actually, I, that, this is one reason why I did dead trees on the Isle of Anglesey up there. Because that's where the druids hang out. It was a wood henge. Actually, there was some, um, there was some hypothesis, yes, that they had more henges around um, Britain. Some stone, some much smaller, and some just plain wooden ones. They've got, like, evidence, I believe, it, like, you know, uh, wood, like, rotted in the ground in certain patterns and stuff. Which stands to reason, right? Without barbarians, you couldn't have a Rome. That's true. Well, they, there would be a Rome, but it'd be a little Rome. It'd be a tiny Rome. A cheese henge. Kind of liking where you're going with this. I like cheese. Anyway, 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 anyway. We're going to get some pictures of Stonehenge. Let's get that up there now. I need a map. A map for Stonehenge. Where is Stonehenge located in England? I'm going to guess, by the way. I think Stonehenge is around here. If memory serves. And for someone who's never actually been there. Let's just see if I'm right. You know, funny enough, because Google really wants to please me. It's like, you know, this is what's Google returned for Stonehenge map. Stonehenge design, save in Portland, Oregon. It's like, no, Google, let's not overthink what I'm trying to do here. Oh, I don't like haggis. I don't like haggis. I've tried it. I've tried it a couple of times. Even haggis with whiskey on it or scotch. I don't like it. Because my mum and dad lived in Scotland for the longest time. Um, they lived up in a croft cottage. It was hundreds of years old and had walls. Literally, not exaggerating, ten feet thick. And they uh, they got into the haggis thing. And, uh, no, can't do it. Oh, yes, 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 Angel. I saw that post of yours. Um, well, and so I've been to, uh, I lived in Louisiana for the longest time, right? And I ate something called boudin. And boudin is a spicy meat, basically like a sausage, and it's shaped like a sausage. Um, but you're actually meant to cut it open, not eat the, like, the skin. And you get um, this crumbly sort of meat suet type of thing. And it's beautiful. There's a... Mm, my mouth is watering already. Haggis looks like boudin, but it's a ball. But, like, you're, and you're not meant to eat, like, the skin. You, you cut it open. It's got all of this crumbly meat suet stuff. So, in theory, I'm like, well, this one's really good. This looks okay. And you're going to pour scotch on it and set it alight? Giddy up. It's horrible. It tastes like socks. It tastes like stale socks. And I, I mean, I, I'll eat Twiglets and Marmite. Haggis is shit. My apologies to my Scottish friends. I've had Cracklins. And I've had... Uh, Jack got me onto that.
Alright, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. Stonehenge, iconic, prehistoric, standing stone circle. I don't think they let you near it anymore. Alright, where are you, Stonehenge? Where are you in... Okay, I don't think I was that far off. I said here. Is that bath? No. We've got to draw bath on here. Maybe the bath didn't exist in this day and age. I've got a city that I haven't drawn on here. Oh! Oh! OMG! Oh, we'll have to fix that, won't we? While we're in this area. I'll have to do that one. Alright, so what am I dealing with here? What am I dealing with? Let's, can I get rid of this bit? There we go, okay. So, Stonehenge... And I'm kind of covering up the chat right now, so I can't actually see what you guys and girls are talking about. If I bring this this way a little bit, and actually bring that in a little bit... Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now I can see the chat. Hey, Cape Geeks here. I know we were just talking about you and not in a good way. You have the same effect on me, you bastard, and you know it too. You're sitting there with 30 bloody viewers. I, I've i got like a humble 10 or something like that. You get online and five of my dudes fuck off. One of them being my very favourite, um, Jennifer Glazer. And you know that you do it. So then you've got 35 and you're sitting there going... <sighs> I will sit here and rub my bone on this skin in front of 35 viewers. That's what you do. You're an asshole. Are you like, bastard, to quote Richard Sharp. Bastard. And hey, I love the fact that people bounce between our channels, man. I'm serious. I love that. You've got a lot of friends that are my friends from my friends that are your friends. I got a jealousy inside, but I'm, I'm coping with it. I'm coping. <laughs> yeah, Miss J. There you go. There you go, Miss J. I like it. Hey, Zombie Dance Team's here. It's complete. Anyway, where is this Stonehenge? Where is this Stonehenge? Dorchester. Dorchester. Where's Dorchester? Well, according to this old map, Dorchester's like right here. Alright. And Stonehenge is nowhere near Dorchester. Why am I looking at Dorchester then? Okay, so uh, this is Isle of Wight. Okay, Isle of Wight, Isle of Wight. It's like the two scales are a little bit different. So coming out to the Brockenhurst area, coming on up, coming on up, I, I think it's going to net out to right here. I think that's where we're going to place it. Plop there. And we've got a nice little bit of patch of ground for it. Alright, that's where we're doing it. And then i got some pictures of the hinge, so I'm going to use for reference here. Papa, that whole um, koala coming up to people begging for water thing breaks my little heart. Breaks my little heart. I love koalas. I don't think we should over freaking engineer this. 
But it's basically an outer circle of stones with stones on the top, right? And then there's an inner circle of stones with stones on top. Well, there you go. There you go. I'll use this. I'll use this. I'm going to use this for visual reference. Maybe I'll use this and actually just draw over the damn thing. Hold on a sec. Let me show you what I'm saying here. How about that? I mean, that's basically our angle, right? See, this is the only problem on a map like this. I've got detail everywhere. Alright, up to Scotland we go. Come on. Deemed uh, Scottish people will be useful for something. Let's just move this little monster. Just just one side for now. We'll, we'll, come on, Wickle fella. You'll, you'll come back later. Alright, let's, let's draw ourselves a hinge. And then I'm going to shrink it down to size. No one's waterboarding koalas. <laughs> oh, Miss J, always bringing the smarts in. That's cool. That's cool. Haggis Hench is about. Oh, no, hold on. Skeet. Skeet. Skeetable? Skeetable. 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 Skeetable Hench. Why are we not thinking about this, Brian? Skeetball Hench. You should be thinking about this. Ski ball's your job, not mine. Okay. Have I got the right brush? I think I do. I got the right brush. I'm drawing this large and I'm gonna actually draw it imperfectly as well. I don't want to be precise. That's the whole nature of this map. I want it to look like an amateur did it. Well, you know what I mean. You know, like, uh, just some seafarer. Drew this pretty damn map. Probably one of the best maps the Roman Empire has ever freaking seen. Because of its sheer, unadulterated a accuracy. But it's got to look hand-drawn. That's my point. It's got to look hand-drawn. And I'm drawing it with thick brush. Large size. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to shrink it down. And we'll have all of that detail still on the smaller version. And Princess, this is for you, you know this. Princess, was it you that suggested doing Stonehenge? Like about a week ago? Gonna be a good hinge. It's gonna be a good one. And apparently, someone knocked these over between the Romans and now. Because what we're drawing here is pretty damn intact looking. So, over the last 2,000 years, some soccer hooligans got to this bad boy, apparently, and screwed it up for the rest of us. It is very chatty today. It, it, it is. I'm going to actually check out that link. Um, it's, it's funny because tomorrow or Wednesday will be dead. You watch. But it's like there's certain days, and they're typically around the beginning of the week, where the chat just like super lively. Then the very next day will be dead. There'll be me and you hanging out. Remember that? It was like a couple of weeks ago on a Tuesday. Dead. Oh, Miss Jay, this is nice. No, th th you did this for... God, what's his name? We were in his chat last night. We raided him. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're doing this for him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we raided him yesterday and he was working on that cassowary. This is nice, girl. I mean, this is sad, but this is nice work. I love your colours. This is really good. The subject matter is not, but it's nice. It's a nice map. Beautiful, beautiful colours. I love the fire. That's exceptionally well done. Keiki can't do that. It was a collaboration. Okay. Just go get Cape Geek Arts viewers on a Wednesday. Well, I don't know. Maybe we could raid him and say, Hey, everyone, Alyssa's here. Everyone over to Alyssa's channel. That would really piss him off. Or maybe I could run a competition for every person that comes across to his channel. I'll give you a free printed canvas map. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is actually changed into a different block here. Hold on. There we go. You know, I don't think I have ever truly studied what Stonehenge looked like intact. It's kind of one of those structures where, you know, you get... Obviously, it's an extremely popular structure to go visit. But it never really resonates with me, like, at all. It must be the Roman blood in me. It's like, I really just don't give a shit about it. I think I drove past it once. I think that's as close as I ever got. And, like, there was zero excitement. Because I remember my forefathers pulling the damn thing down. Burning druids at it or something. says what Papa Fox said you should go get Cape Geek when he's streaming tell him you're streaming a trot off <laughs> <laughs> okay I'll do that one day I'll do it hey everyone just want to let you know that I'm here now so you can stop watching this tribe no I like Cape Geek I, I like Cape Geek quite a bit but I'm gonna do it hey everyone just in case you're bored here, we're going to start streaming on my channel now. The Roman Legion is taking slaves from the cave dwellers. Well, that's what cave dwellers are for, right? To build the mighty empire. I mean, look, as a Roman, you'd look at Stonehenge and go, Dude, good stonework. I'm taking you back to Rome, you could do something similar for us over there, but with a little bit more roof to it. You know about roofs, right? Well, no, I can actually see from Stonehenge that you don't know about roofs. But let me tell you about roofs. You won't be getting one as a slave. Lols. I've got a DNA kit here, and I need to actually fill it out. I need to do it because I wanna. I wanna be vindicated as being like half Roman or something. But I'm kind of scared, and Jack's looking at me now, because we both know that it's going to come through. Then I'm like, German, Viking, Welsh, and anything but any form of Italian. And that's why I haven't filled it out. Yeah, I'm going to have to get one another one of these gloves. This just thing is not working as well as it used to when I first got it.
Don't do the DNA kit. Oh, yeah, I, I heard something about that. Like, there's, there's some kind of dodginess to it. Like, some people theorizing that your DNA gets up to Russia or something. Most of the Roman Empire wouldn't have been from Italia, though. All right, man, if you want to sit down one day and ha have a history conversation, I am more than glad to have that conversation with you, believe me. And, of course, which period are you talking about? Are you talking about the beginning of Rome? Are you talking about the early Republic? Are you talking about the later Republic? Are you talking about the parts where they actually started taking it, like, uh, allowing people to join the legions or are you talking about the bits where they actually were starting to crumble and they really needed the manpower so now they're actually really allowing people barbarians in are you talking about the bits where they're just colonizing i mean which pair to you are, are we talking about here and i will have this conversation with you all day long with you my friends but not on, not on stream right now That's one thing that gets me about people who want to talk about the Roman Empire is very few actually even preface it with a time period. Like, the whole thing was the same regardless, and it wasn't. That's a beautiful thing that I, I, I enjoy about the Roman Empire. It, it's almost like... It must have had something like eight or ten time periods, all very, very, very different with their own personalities. And it affected everything. But, I will say this. That was the strength of the Roman Empire. Was their actual ability to assimilate people that they'd conquered. You look at it, almost any time period. The fact that they drafted in men into auxiliary legions... No one else did that. The fact that they were able to replenish their manpower almost on a dime, regardless of the losses that Carthage or anyone else would inflict upon them. 70,000 men dead in one battle, and they bounce back and say, well, okay, we'll just send a few more legions. Something like their entire fleet of 500 ships wiped out, what was it, in the Second Punic War against Carthage in the storm. And they were like, all right, better build another one. And they manned the whole goddamn thing again. Their sheer manpower, that was their success. They never, you could never stop them. They're, they're at, they never, they never were like, oh shit, we're short on my manpower, we better give up. It's like they could just dig into another bloody drawer and pull out a few more bloody legions and a few more auxiliaries. The fact that they would recruit as auxiliaries and send them away to other countries was a strength of theirs. It's not, I mean, you, I know you're trying to like rib on me and everything because I love the bloody Romans. But the simple fact is, is sure, no, you're right. Without the barbarians, without all of those other countries, they wouldn't have been the same because that was their strength. That's what they did well. And I love it. I mean, I will... I, I'll put a little medal on that and say, yeah, they did good. Well, and if you, if you look at, um, you know, look at their defeats, and they had plenty. Look, I mean, I'm not so freaking stupid that I didn't know that they got their faces kicked in a lot, right? I acknowledge that. But look how quickly they always bounced back. Huge losses. Three legions at Tudorburg alone. Three legions, gone. Just poof, gone. And they just dig into some more. It was later on in the period when they couldn't dig into resources like that. And they started to allow outside forces to settle inside in exchange for help. That, that was one reason why they started to fail. Disease too. Disease, uh, I read a, a book recently talking about 
disease, pestilence, etc. in the Roman Empire. And at the point where they're already, like, hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging people, and they can't replace them as easily as they used to, and then you got these massive plagues sweeping through the Empire. It was like a big whammy, you know? It, it just, it knocked the stuffing out of them. They couldn't fall back on their ability just to keep throwing men into problems. And I, and I know, and I take it with good jest that people like to pick on me because of uh, I, I like the Romans and everything. I get it a lot. I get it a lot of conventions too. It's kind of like non-stop to be honest with you. But the truth is, I mean, I recognize their failings as well as I loved where they had strength. But if you look at them as a people, they were pretty damn unique for their time period. They were pretty damn unique and special. Black Plague was later on. But they had plagues of um, similar size. They actually have a few. In fact, this book I read was... It, it put it in such a way where it was like their very success and their very ability to build these big, huge cities and attract people into these cities was one of their undoings. Because it just became these cesspits of disease. And for all their ability, um, you know, to strive for hygiene in a world where there really isn't any. There, um, they were never going to be able to fight, like, diseases. The, 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 the big, huge diseases that would just sweep across the world. And their very ability to move people... And transport, etc., 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 like goods across the world quickly to spread rats and disease, too. So, when that shit hit, it hit big. Like, I'm reading this book, I was like, holy shit. It's, it's kind of a wonder, like, that they lasted as long as they did. Yeah, coronavirus, exactly. Alright, and I did not intend to spend the entire evening here drawing Henge, but come on, come on. We'll get this little puppy dropped into place, and then uh, we'll probably do a little bit of touch-up to the colouring. And then we're going to start doing what I intended to do at the beginning of the evening. Grass and trees. Oh, I'm colouring underneath. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay.
get rid of you. Merge you guys together. Then move this down here. Here I said, right? And then let's shrink this down. Let's not make it larger than a Roman town. I don't think the Romans would allow that. Didn't I say this was about the location, right? See, I should have gone a little heavy on the line weights, but I'm going to let it slide. Time check. It is 6.44. We are going to be streaming for at least 45 more minutes. Minuten. And by the way, Princess, you'll have to get that trick from Miss um, J of being able to highlight your entire question. That's what the channel points are for. Can't leave it too big. I just read Papa Fox's comment, and I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> and yes, cooties and cooties and cookies. No, I'm not gonna comment on that. I think even if it was in front of me, I'd be looking at it going, cooties and what now? Let's give this a little bit of colour. Let's give this a little bit of colour. The temptation to put shadow on this is overwhelming, but we can't do it. This is not that type of map. Throw some grass around that and stuff. I think we'll be in business. That looks cute. Okay, we were missing a settlement, so I want to actually get that added right here. I have noticed, actually. I did notice. But that's what I was thinking about you today, actually, Princess. I mean, I want you to be able to use that command, but I also think that you should just be able to highlight your comments, because that's what it's there for to get my attention, right? Then it's like, if you really need my attention, throw the thing. Settlement. Here. Gloucester. Maybe we'll grab one of these. Was Gloucester big? I'm not sure Gloucester was that big. I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna grab one of the small ones. We, we haven't got that much space here. What are these? Oh, those are the little monsters that Mr. Drew. I know there's got to be some farm, etc. that we'll, pull, we'll do there, but we'll do it when we can actually come down into that area. Grass. Let's do grass. 
grass and marshes and stuff. Well, you used to be able to do an Alyssa and like nothing happening. Do a big Ferris wheel in the Tempsis. <laughs> That would actually be funny. That would actually be funny. That would be cool. Alright, farms. And by farms, I mean... The grass. I think I was doing brown, wasn't I? Have a bush action going. We'll do this, we'll leave it at 9 pixels, and it's going to be, ah, uh, it's going apparently a little lighter than that. I really should colour in them, I really should colour in them. I'm going to forget about them. Let me do it right now. I'm just going to completely forget otherwise. Oh, well, actually, we said that we were going to do a different colour. Brian was talking about making them, like, white in the centre. Oh, and I didn't do this island either. Yeesh. Alright, well, let's do the island now. Not that, that. Alright, now, let's go back to this and the glass. Princess, is the cast of Rome you're using as your green screen? Actually, no, this is Britannia. Look at this demented woman right here. It's a show that was... I haven't actually watched it yet, but it was based in Britain. It's Roman times, and it was... I guess a show. I'm not even sure how many seasons they did, or if it's still going. Um, Actually, there it is. That's Hadrian's Wall. And that one is the Antonine Wall. So yes, both of them are the Fuck You Scotland. Oh, you've seen it, Das? It's kind of loosely on my list of things to watch. It definitely, I mean, these characters right here definitely have this band look. I mean, look at her. It totally looks like an 80s band. Totally looks like an 80s band. Tom Tullis the other day doesn't like stippling. Fuck you, Tom Tullis. I've got to have some patience, man. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm actually kind of creating a little bit of a ground texture. So it's not really pure yellow, right? That's kind of what I'm shooting for here. I'm gonna put some trees on this island over here too. So it just gives that little bit of a texture. Now, one way of me doing this, you can actually see if you look really closely, there's a very faint texture in the background. I've got like this yellow set to bleed through and allow these little shading bits to come through. Um, another technique is to actually have um, like a paper texture but like good strong lines, like, you know, this type of deal. And then let that bleed through. But I actually, I couldn't find my paper texture, so. I don't know what I did with it. 
I literally do not know what I did with it. So we're, we're going to create one. And it'll take a little bit of time, but it'll be worth it. It'll look pretty. I don't know if pretty is a word. That's a marsh there. Now, I, I actually have a, um, a bush that allows me to do, um, like, grass like this and such. But I actually don't want to do too much of that. I kind of want it a little bit more like this. And I figured that this won't take too long. I mean, look, we're already south of Hadrian's Wall. Oh, it's on Amazon Prime! What's the difference between a marsh and a moor? That's a really good question. Someone Google it. Tell us. My understanding that was moors were more like uh, moors were more like um, vast, huge, open expanses of wild grassland. There may be some marshy turf on it, but the, that's not the nature of the moors. The moors are just this open, bleak expanse. Of uh, uh, just grassland. Now we will be coming back through with trees, etc. But look how well the trees sit in amongst grass and such like this. It kind of breaks up the ground and like pulls the tree into the ground around it that's kind of the whole point like that tree right there yeah, it's cool and everything but just draw a little bit of grass in front of it and like it's holy balls that's now on the land you know what i'm saying so that's why i do this hey it's gentlemanly thoughts here gentleman thoughts and freelancer inc Where were the white cliffs? I think white cliffs are down here. That's my, that's my understanding. Happy little Scottish trees. And yeah, freelancer, you come across moors more often. I can understand why people are telling you to get out. Oh, I should actually be doing some green grass too, but someone was telling me that um, there was a lot of marshy turf in Britain at the time. And I'm guessing, you know, over time things get cultivated and built up and drained. So I figured this is going to be our default backdrop here, our default texture. I wish I had a brush that I could just like go across the map and and it just randomly would draw these little shapes and dots and grass bits for me. Miss J, get on it. What's going on, girl? Miss J is my brush aficionado. She's really good at just creating brushes. I don't know the first thing about it, and I wish I did. Yeah, this is going to take a while. This is going to take a while. I'm actually going to leave this little patch there, by the way. I think it looks good. Where are the Shoggoths? They're there. You can't see them. They're in the bogs. No, there were moors, there were English moors. Look it up, there were English moors. And not the moors as in the people that ride you down and kill you. Thank you, Miss J. This this is actually 
A shrubbery. A shrubbery. This map, a what? I was like saying it all along, was going to be really about a combination of the elements on it. It's not the settlements. It's not the hills, not the mountains, it's not the grass. But you put them all together, like this, and they suddenly start coming alive, you know? I'm, I'm going to make myself a background texture that I can use on my maps. I'm, I'm going to do it. Because I this, this here, these lines, if I had an entire piece of paper with those lines and little tufts of grass and little bits of shading and stuff going on it, I would be able to drop that behind any map and get the result that I want instantly. And I can't believe that I got this far without it. And this is why I didn't really sort of mind like these pretty crude colouring bits. Because we come across at the top with a little bit of grass. Before you know it, everything just starts to blend together. I actually lost, I, at some point, I lost some Photoshop brushes and textures that I used to use. And I I don't know what happened to them. And I never had them backed up or anything. But I've got I've to gotta replace them for sure over time. Schmores. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 I've... The thing that chaps me, though, is Fen, Glen, Moors. What's, what's the difference between them? What is this? That's a happy little diva. That's what that is. That's where I grew up. Right there. And I lived right here, next to the river, right on the border. I know we've got to do quite a bit of this, but I think it'll go pretty quickly. I think it'll go pretty quickly. Did Britannia have chain restaurants? I feel like there should be some deadies on this map. I can actually say confidently no to that. Because it was only in the late 80s and 90s that we started turning into America. Before that, we had way too much freaking class. No cracker barrels, no Denny's. We didn't even have a McDonald's in Chester where I grew up until, I want to say, late 80s. And then when it did arrive, like, everyone, like, started to gush. Like, everyone suddenly became a freaking American. It's like, I'm just going to drive through. Uh -uh.
I think chain ski ball would be way more likely. You know, I have had people tell me off for swearing on my stream. I've had people tell me off for drinking too much on my stream. It's not going to be too long from now. It's going to be kind of a bit of a boring stream. I wish there was a quicker way to this, though. I mean, I do it, and I do it without complaining, but it just feels inefficient. There has to be a better way to quote Winnie the Pooh. I'm trying to actually think of a quick way to call out the water out there, or the shark fins. And I got, I got a theory that I might be able to do a shadow in white. Or duplicate the layer and make it white and then move it just slightly up and to the left. To kind of get that crest type of look. And then put some kind of blue background behind it all. A soft, soft blue. Not that the Romans saw blue. I feel like if I just did this area, I could take this whole area and go paste, 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 and no one would freaking know. Freelancer, I like your style. Clone stamp, yeah. So I'm thinking about it. So the thing is, I obviously will duplicate content on a map. I've got no problem with that. But I fight it. I fight it because I actually once did this huge map. And it was huge. And it had thousands of trees on it. And I swear, I drew 30 or 40 tree types and then duplicated them. And I mirrored them, changed the size a little bit, coloured them all individually. And the client still noticed that that's what I did. Now, the map looks glo glo glorious. Glorious. But he still, years later, said, I love the way that you took, like, a dozen trees and you mirrored them and you diff-coloured them differently and then you used them all over and you overlapped them. To... And I'm like, shit, okay. So even with that amount of effort, still noticed that I actually used the same element. So ever since then, I'm like... I try to fight doing that. I, I, I try to as much as possible hand draw everything. And it, but it's not optimal for fast maps, you know? And if I do copy it and like you saw I copied this guy up here I'll then change it after the fact. But this, this that I'm doing here There's no way someone would say, Oh, that's the same piece of grass that she used down here. I mean, surely, surely. Mm -hmm. 
I think I am gonna experiment. What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened there? There we go. But yeah, I am thinking about actually filling this area in and cloning it across. I'm really thinking about that. And then I can come in and fill in gaps, you know? And Freelad said that is certainly up my street. Yeah, I used to go to Ruby Tuesdays all of the time. In fact, I used to uh, I used to frequent a lot of restaurants in Louisiana with friends, you know, during work and that type of shit. I would think that it was the best thing since sliced bread. Cracker Barrel was on that list. Ruby Tuesdays was on that list. And then, I don't know, after a while I realized, no, they're, they're just kind of one of the mill. Knights of Neath, we are but simple travelers who seek the enchanter who lives beyond these woods. Hey! <laughs> King Bashman's in the house! King Bashman with drawing grass stumps, my friend. Saved. But it's good to have you here, my friend. We're going to be streaming for at least 20 more minutes, half an hour maybe. I'm going to see how much of this grass we can actually get then. Just talking about the merits of me copying the grass. And would anyone really notice? And of course, don't forget we've got to come back across, we'll add some trees. And I think this map is going to be pretty damn close. Like, we add trees to this area now. Like, Wales is done. Right, Wales is done. Which then just means it would throw labels on it. We might be that close. Oh, the water. The water's going to be a bitch. Yeah. Shrubbery. Shrubbery. Yeah, King, so basically, I'm just adding a little bit of texture to these areas here before we add trees and things like that to them and there's a couple of ways I do it one is like just thin lines like this with the occasional little sprouts of grass and then some I actually just dot them but it's really just to try and get that texture just to break up like the uh, what would you call that it's not really a yellow anymore is it beige We're going to try it, folks. I am going to do this little texture here, and then I am going to try copying it across to the mainland. And we're going to see how that works out. Oh, Papa, yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you still have a house, or did you burn the thing down? Wait till I get the first spider on my stream, like, crawling up the wall in front of me or something. You are going to hear me scream. <laughs> and I know they're good for your house, but they're not good for my soul. 
And I don't have much soul left. I need to keep what I have. Yeah, you know, throwing trees on top of this as well, you're not gonna you're not gonna notice like a repeating pattern, are you? You're just not gonna notice it. But those hills are gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, those hills are gonna be a pain in the ass. I should have been drawing background pattern away from the hills. I'm just gonna hold on a sec. While I still can. Let's do a new layer. There we go. Spiders can be cute if they look like that little tiny fluffy fellow that there's YouTube videos of. All of the spiders can kiss it. See that? There's no way that there is a, a, a hand stroke that does that with a single knuckle. Is that Photoshop? Is it an Wacom tablet? I think it's a Wacom tablet. It, it picks up on some kind of input with a glove on. Better hit save. Single knuckle, zoom out and pivot, pivot, pivot. The Cintiq 16 doesn't do that. Honestly, it's why I wear this, um, I guess, non-tactile glove, whatever it would be called. And it helps, it helps, but... Maybe, maybe, because this 24-inch was like one of the earliest models that ever came out with. Maybe, maybe it's just age, you know? Just the technology wasn't there back in the day. But it was also like three and a half freaking grand, so not exactly. I saved it about two minutes ago. Um, I'm not exactly chomping at the bit to drop big money, you know. I am actually going to get something like King Bashman has got. I'm actually going to uh, get a portable pad that I can draw on. That I can take to conventions and things. I think, I think I'm willing to spend, you know, a couple of grand or something like that. For something I can take to conventions and basically do seminars, drawing, looking at the class and have it, like, projecting behind me. That's going to be my next purchase, I think. Like, and I'm overdue getting it. Like, I want it now for a total con. Diablo! Diablo Bob! Nice. Oh, the 16 doesn't have the gestures touch. That's why it doesn't do it. Because this does. And here's the, here's the thing that blows my mind about, like, Photoshop and stuff. All Wacom both have more features for a Mac than they do PCs. And with no reason why. Uh, and you cannot turn off, let's say, canvas rotation. Without then disabling other gestures and things. It's like, neither piece of software will allow me to turn off canvas rotation. I don't use it. I, I mean, there are times where I do, and then I would actually turn it back on again. But by default, I don't want canvas rotation, and it has no purpose for me at all. And that's what you're seeing, is it's interpreting with one knuckle some kind of spazzy canvas rote. Wrote. That's what the young kids say. Wrote. I don't want to be too dense. I've got I got pretty dense here. 
and I don't want to be that dense, and I don't mean dense in a brain, I've, I've already, I, I'm too long in a tooth now to do anything about that. Yeah, you see, exactly. Pinch zoom. I want at least pinch zoom. I don't care about the rest. Pan and pinch zoom. I use them all the time. Two gestures, that's all I need. Without them, what, what's the point? What, what is literally the point? I mean, I know that that's snobbish. Because there are plenty of keystrokes that you, you can get the equivalent. I, I acknowledge that. And from time to time, I've leaned on them. Why am I concentrating down here? Because I fully intend to use the living crap out of this on the mainland. That is my objective. So I guess we're going to see on stream if this thing's going to work out okay. You know, I should spend a little bit of time, actually, um, just creating textures. That's what I should do. Alright, a little bit more, then we're going to see if this sucker's going to work. Pan with the sliders, right, 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 right. Well, and I think it's just what you get used to, right? I like being in close, doing this, doing this. I don't like reaching over here. Could I get used to it? Yeah. Do I wanna? No, no, no. I actually had a period of time where my Wacom wasn't working at all. And I ended up using like a little um, pad that Jack's got. But it's one of those where you, you draw on it, but you're looking up at your screen over here. And I could see people get used to that. I, I, I could, but I wasn't happy. I was not happy with it. It just doesn't then come as easy, you know? Or as intuitively. It's like you have to relearn. Night, Diablo. Talk to you later. Yes, I have drawn the tunnel. They ride little mules and oxen underneath the tunnel. Actually, the whole Brexit thing, it did dawn on me. One of the beautiful things about the tunnel is you could just take a train right through and go straight into the heart of bloody um, France. They won't be able to do that now, will they? They'll have to, like, disembark. Like, right near the uh, tunnel. And, like, start producing, um... Passports and shit. Semi... Works against the whole purpose of the bloody tunnel in the first place. No, Angel. Nothing I have ever read has indicated that they had some merciballs. At all. Like, not even to go, like, pearl diving or anything like that. Nothing I've ever read. In fact, 
For the longest time, they weren't even particularly that adept on the oceans, period. They were very land-based. That's how they thought about everything. All right. So what happens if we do something like that? Angel, I don't know what he's actually making right now because I'm sure you can hear him in the background. So the mic I bought is a really great mic, I love it a lot, and it has like all of these settings and shit where you can actually do directional, like where it's going to pick up sound from, and sensitivity. I just haven't wanted to like play around with it too much in case I like screwed something up for the stream. But I think I think one day we will, you know, see if we can just like get it a little bit more focused on this area and nothing beyond. What do you think about that? I mean, I... We could do that again, right? Is this actually going to help us at all? I mean, I guess it does, right? I mean, I guess it does. It just filled in that entire area for us. So then we just have to come in and fill in patches. So maybe we just, like, get a good chunk in here. And maybe we do a little bit here and here. Okay, maybe we'll give it a whirl. Maybe we'll give it a whirl. Sure, what's for dindin? What's for dindin? Oh, okay, so because we do this low carb thing, um, there is a combination chopped cauliflower baked in cheese with some kind of meat. Jack's gonna do, um, like a, a sausage in there, and it's like actually, it's pretty low carb, it's very high fat, but it's low carb, so that's what we're gonna do. It's actually, it's pretty good. It's like there's all of these substitutes for, um, you know, rice and shit like that. And cauliflower is pretty high on the list. Not, not, not broccoli, cauliflower. You get basically cauliflower florets and you um, bake them in cheese. You have to cook them a little bit first to soften them up, but then you bake them in cheese. And he's going to do that with a um, smoked sausage. Chopped smoked sausage. It's a very cheesy dish that actually is reminiscent visually of, honestly, mac and cheese. That's kind of, it, visually, that's what it's intended to be a substitute for. So instead of macaroni, cauliflower. It's quite tasty. Or too stew, as they would say in France. Yeah, um, basically don't give a shit about protein, really don't sort of count um, the uh, the carbs, to, uh, not the carbs, the, uh, the general calories. It's uh, all about cutting out the uh, carbohydrates. So you're always replacing your pastas and your um, potatoes and your rice 
with something else. It's been working out okay. Now, me drinking wine or something completely defeats the purpose. I, I acknowledge that. But you're allowed it in moder moderation. I do not drink in moderation. Ergo, ipso facto, we have a problem, Houston. But the spirit is there. Million. Everything in moderation expects to be moderation. Yep. Yeah, princess, keep it up. You're on a roll. That's one reason why they say weigh yourself uh, regularly, at least sort of weekly. Because if you start climbing in weight, you notice. But it encourages you when you're losing weight. You can see that you're losing weight. And that's what you need. You need the encouragement to keep going, right? You're doing great. Let's, let's grab a little bit of glass for my arse. Did, did I grab anything? Where's, where's my duplicate? Oh, I'm a dope. I'm a dope. I need to merge you and you. And then... Grab you. Then... Duplicate you. There we go, that's better. And... You know what? Edit, transform, flip it. Yeah, this is beginning to lose its usefulness. I could just do this by hand, it'd probably be quicker. Leave him there, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep that. That's fine. Looks like some marshy area. Am I happy with that though? Am I? Am I? Is that too much? Is that too much? Maybe it is, especially because we're going to throw a whole bunch of trees on top of it. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Well, it varies, right, um, Princess? Sometimes the uh, mini games are like super popular and that's all that's going on during the night. And then we've had some streams with no mini games getting played. Honestly, when you're not in the stream, mini games hardly get played at all. But I think it's also down to individual moods and and how are people listening or are they engaged? A lot of the time, people are listening in the background. In which case, they don't even notice the mini games going on and they don't participate in them. You know, there's a lot of that. Alright, time check. I'm going to finish the trees here. Because we are so close to trees. You know, grass. You get the idea. And then, um, I think we're going to be calling it for the evening. 
I am not streaming tomorrow night. Tuesdays tend to be a little quiet anyway, so there's no big deal there. But I'm going to go off and see the color of space. With some friends. But I will resume normal channel viewing on Wednesday. And Wednesday we're gonna we're gonna be working on trees. Now one thing that this map will need is a pretty Roman border. So start getting your thinking caps on about what a Roman border would look like. Yes, columns. But is that what we're going to do? Seems like very on the nose. Is there something else that we could do? Cat can be for February. Girl, you are giving me zero deadline right there. You've literally given me a few days to not only get the cat can, but also verify that I have the USP extensions for it, get some kind of mounts for it. And then find the time, instead of streaming, to actually set it up. So probably not cat cam before February, unless you're talking about February 21. Plus, there's not even a freaking cat there now. The more we've been talking about cat cam, the less she's actually been there. But we are. I've got the money for it. We will be doing it. I'm just not going to be held to a deadline of three days time. Heck, I haven't even ordered it in yet. I actually, honestly, want to get a painting rig set up first, so I can stream my um, whiskey and paint Fridays. Like, if I had a preference, it would be that. Only because the cat is so fickle on actually being there. Like, sometimes she is. A lot of the times nowadays, she is not. And it may be something, honestly, as we get towards the summer, and it's warm by the window, where she will, like, rejoin us a lot more. So maybe we make sure we've got it for those m summer months. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's call that grass. And save you bastard. I I can believe that your cat would hate the reindeer antlers. I can believe it. Unless you like start with a cat early on in their lives, cats don't like to be like fucked with. Yeah, Mr. Valor, that would be inappropriate. Yeah. Oh, did I close my thing? Oh, this is trees I'm working on, by the way. Actually, these are trees from years ago. Did I... I closed my map. I closed my map. Where's my open recent? Go back here. We're not done. Nah, he's only kidding. He's only kidding. I don't think we're anything block worthy here yet. Alright. If we find that the grass is too much, I'll thin it out. But I actually want to put these trees on it first. I, I want to start dropping trees on top of the thing and creating some forestry. Then we'll make a decision if um, 
the grass is too much. I don't think it is. The grass is our texture. We don't, we're not dealing with a plain yellow country shape anymore. We, we've got, I think, something that looks pretty damn fine. I mean, let's face it. If I threw labels on this now, I think most people would be happy with it. But we're trees on Wednesday. I don't think that's going to take all of the stream. So Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to do the water. And I've got some ideas for that. I think we're going to be finished with this map by Saturday. That, that's my prediction. We're going to be putting labels on this map on Saturday. And a key. And then we'll send it off to Golden Goblin and we'll get their opinion. See if they've got any changes. No, Mr. Bella, I have a cat on my lap. Uh, not right now. Um, but if I go downstairs, there's one cat that will sit on my knee and loves it. And upstairs, the other cat will sit on my knee in one position in the house. And he will then join me on, uh, like on the couch. But I love having a cat on my knee. A huge amount. I actually like having a cat here in a cat bed because she gets all like just super happy. And I do want to get a cat cat for that. But now I mean about cats, I'm meant to go on laps. Alright, see you Papa. It's all good my friend. Talk to you soon, okay? Stream over the weekend? Yes. We will be streaming over the weekend. We'll talk about that more about on Wednesday, Thursday. So for now, on Monday night, we're going to leave it here. We've got Britannia really, really close to being done. I think I'm happy with how it's turning out. Trees, Wednesday night. So I'll miss you all tomorrow night. Sorry, my friends. But we're going to go watch the film. Then I'll tell you about it on Wednesday. Everyone have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you Wednesday night, okay? Love you all. Thanks for hanging out with me. She's looking pretty good, huh? And always a pleasure, gentlemanly thoughts. Always a pleasure. Hopefully I'll see you soon.